Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. How's everyone doing? This awesome. beautiful day. All right. Cool. Don, you've been running and gunning since uh, early this morning. How you doing? <laughs> oh, it's good. My business partners have been working me into the ground, man. I caught a cold. Uh-oh. But uh, good meetings, good meetings this morning. Awesome. Uh, so, uh, well, cool. So, Russ, are you, uh, you ready to rock and roll? I'm, I'm always ready, Tom. Let's do this. Okay, let's go. All right. Hey, everybody. Uh, welcome to Atomic uh, Habits here on Wednesday, by the way. Tom, you looked fantastic yesterday for Taco Tuesday. Uh, that was a pretty cool uh, meeting you had there in your office. It was really fun watching you. So nice job there. Uh, that being said, <laughs> it was funny. You guys look like you were having a blast. And cool. I mean, you guys, if you want to model yourself after somebody, I mean, Tom had the give giveaways this weekend for, uh, you know, Labor Day. Uh, and then Taco Tuesday yesterday. That guy just doesn't stop. So pretty cool. Uh, well, today I have the absolute pleasure uh, of introducing one of the most amazing people I have ever met. Uh, just became friends recently uh, with Jackie. Uh, she is an absolute dynamo. She was the number one team leader in all of Colorado last year. Uh, just, just a rock star for K KW. We were lucky enough to get her at the Tahoe event. Uh, for those of you that came up there, which was an absolute epic event. I, I, I don't know if I've ever been to a more fun, intimate amazing setting than that. Uh, and Jackie decided to join EXP. And we are super lucky to have her. She is an uh, absolute fantastic coach. Uh, the folks that she coaches are um, so um, dedicated to her and believe in what she does so much. Uh, it's pretty fun to watch. One of the guys that she coaches, Scott, um, I've got to talk to a number of times. And uh, he just says that it doesn't get any better than Jackie. Wherever she goes, I'm going. Whatever she says to do, I do. Uh, kind of like I feel with some of the leaders here. She's going to be talking to us today about mindset uh, and limited beliefs around lead generation and how to conquer that, how to get over those things, how to be a rock star lead generator, how to get your mind in the right spot. And I don't want to take up too much of her time uh, because I want you guys to get as much of her as you can, but I wanted to make sure she had a proper introduction. So without further ado, I'm going to pass it over to Jackie. Hey, thank you so much, Russ. Wow, what a what a pleasure to be surrounded by giants like this. I, I'm so, so, so excited. And can, can I share my screen, by the way? Jackie, I think you've got a little bit of an echo, yes. though. Do you I've have your phone echo. on as well? No, um, let me work is. on this and we're going to work on the echo. Is that better? It is actually. Okay, awesome. See, we just find solutions here. So I'm going to just roll this really quick. And um, so I think this will help you guys follow along um, with me. So um, thank you so much. My name is Jack Mikkel. Just a little bit about me. Um, I'm so excited, probably more excited than I've been in a very, very long time. And I'm only six days in this company officially. <laughs> so just wait till it's, it's, I can say two years, one, you know, one year, two years, three years. I am so excited. Just a, a second about me. Got licensed in 2015, um, joined um, the other company and within about 10 months, became the top 10% of my office, about 200 people. About two years later, they asked me to join as, as the leader of the office. And I said, no, the first time. A year later, they came back and I said, yes. And um, like uh, Russ mentioned, I, I was able to reach the, the top team leader in my region in net agent growth. And, and all that means is that a lot of agents came to our office. I attracted a lot of agents to our office. And the agents that joined me and the agents that were with me stayed because of the training, coaching, and value that I and we provided. And I, I give God the glory on that because it really takes superhuman strength to succeed in that role. And so um, I, I'm, I'm super excited. But yes, today I'm going to talk a little bit about... Um, lead gen and what's holding you back. And so 
I just want you, I really want you, if you could, if you have a chance to get, get a piece of paper and a pencil or pen together, because I'm going to have you kind of take some notes along the way, and I think this will make a difference. And so let's get clear on terms really quick. You guys know lead generation. I'm sure if you're on this call, uh, your uh, aptitude for real estate is probably high enough to know what you need to do. And I loved what we heard at, at Build a couple of weeks ago. And that is just, it's its really pretty simple. It, it's, I love the three by five. I think it was Randy that might've said that, or maybe Brent, um, three by five, right? Just talk to five people that you already know, probably in your database a day, day in, day out. Talk to five people that you don't know that's where you have to have a lead generation pillar of uh, gives you an opportunity to talk to people you don't know yet. And just five, five a day, and then follow up with five other people in, in your business that, uh, that you know, might need to be buying or selling. So just this three by five, this concept, there's a lot of uh, models out there. And so I'm not going to spend a lot of time on that because you know how to talk to people and you know that you need to talk to people so what we're going to spend the most time on is why and how so first of all um lead generation is is what you do in the shadows day in and day out i remember when i first got in into real estate i i just um didn't know much for sure probably like many of you i didn't know much all I knew that I needed to do was talk to people. And about four or five months in, I had about five million under contract. And someone came up to me and said, Jackie, what are you doing? That's amazing. What are you doing? And I said, you know, I just don't know much. I'm just doing 100% of what I know to do. And that's talk to people. And so it, it, that's what you do in the shadows when no one is watching. And I have an interesting picture for you here. This was a National Geographic picture of the year. I, I can't, I apologize, I don't know which year. I think it was pretty recent, maybe 2021. This doesn't look like a fabulous picture. When I first saw it, I thought, huh, I wonder what is the big deal? It just looks like someone is in a helicopter taking a, a, a photo of maybe some, I don't know, donkeys or horses or something. And it's really when you look a little bit deeper, it's the shadows. If you look a little bit deeper, those are zebras, if you see them right there. And that what you really see is the shadows. And that's such a stunning picture because it's what, it, it's what you do in the shadows when no one is looking. And when we, when we pinpoint lead generation in the shadows, when no one is looking, that's literally going to define your business for you. And I love this illustration. And I got the privilege to me, just an amazing honor to sit with him. And I remember sitting with him, you know, just, just living this crazy abundant life, you know, he, I, I just, I can't even imagine it. And, you know, you, we see him in, in, in the, in the, on stage and we see him in the highlights and we can't even believe life he's living. And when I sat down with him that day, what I wanted to know is Gene, what did you do in the shadows when no one was looking? And what he told me pretty quick, quickly right out of the gate. Yeah. I went on three agent for him. He wanted to build a revenue share business. And he went on three agent attraction appointments every single day, day in, day out, day in, time on task over time. When no one was looking, that's what he was doing. And I, I love that because you know what else was probably in the shadows of his life? I bet there was a lot some discouragements that was all in the shadows as well and it's really the shadows that really that really build the life by design and and I love that because ev everyone everyone wants to be great until it's time to do what greatness requires and in this re uh, lead generate in this real estate business it's lead generation that is what has to happen in, in in this business and it's going to include some setbacks it's going to include 
some failures. And I love this quote, greatness isn't for the chosen few, but for the few who choose. And that's a really stunning concept because everyone on this call, there is greatness in you. There is that potential in you. And the, the question is, what shadow, what, what are you doing in the shadows? What are you doing in, in lead generation day in, day out, time on task over time? That's going to literally determine the image that you create. And I also, I, I, I'm, so, I'm so full of quotes and illustrations, so I just had to put this one in here. The golf ball. You guys heard this story, how the golf ball was invented? This is quite, quite stunning. And it really goes with the topic that we're talking about. When they first invented golf way back in the day, originally the golf ball was the same circumference and the same weight but it was a round golf ball, completely smooth. It didn't have the dents. And so as they started to crush that, those golf balls and, and hit them and, and kind of develop this game, they realized that some of the, the golf balls had, had dents in them. And they really understood something really more strategic is the, the golf balls with the most dents traveled the furthest they traveled the fastest. And they realized that the dents actually helped that because it reduced the drag and it helped that golf ball move through um, the turbulence in the air. And so they then they what did they do? They put all these dents in the golf ball. And my, my question to you is, is as I as we look at the people on stage, maybe at Build, which that was such a tremendous event, maybe looking at the Brents at the jeans, looking at the Randys and, and the, the superstars on this call, the Dons, you know, they, they, it, they look awesome, but I would just propose the only difference between them and us is they have more dents. They've, they've seen some crushing blows. They, they've had some more setbacks, which is more than you. That's all. And that's what happens in the shadows is, is, is you being able to weather the storms that you're facing and keep in that lead generation vein. You know, we see the Michael um, Jordan and we see, um, you know, all these iconic athletes. And I have a quote for you um, because we see them in their game and, and how amazing they're doing, but we don't realize it's in the shadows that they actually built that. And there's a quote from um, Chop, a really simple read, chop wood, carry water. Never forget, you do not shine under the bright lights. The bright lights only reveal your work in the dark. We get so used to seeing superstars on game day that we forget that we what we do not see. All the hours they spent beating on their craft, drenched in sweat at the point of exhaustion with no one watching. Too many people see exposure from the bright lights, but the bright lights only expose their lack of faithfulness to their craft in the dark. And I love that quote because it speaks to this. When, when we see, you know, the Brents and the jeans, you guys need to see what must that have been in the shadows because that's where you are. That's where I am. I promise when I first started lead generating, I sucked. <laughs> I did. I did. I promise. Um, it's just because I had so many conversations and I fell on my face so many times that I got good at my craft. When I, when I started, when I came over even six, six days ago to this wonderful company, and again, I'm so excited. I promise when I made my first agent attraction call, I sucked. It didn't look good. It wasn't great. And that's okay. Because I promise you this, I may not be on stage. I may not shine like those, these brilliant superstars we have here. Yet, I promise I will be engaged in the shadows and I will be lead genning. So my question is, is what dent? You just, you just don't have as many dents as other people yet. And what are you going to do to commit to that lead generating process to get good at it? And I want to bring, how much time do I have here? Am I, am I good? Okay. I, I, you got to, oh, goodness. 1030, Jackie. Awesome. 
this is awesome. I want you to write this down. Your performance equals your potential minus interference. Please write that down. Your performance equals your potential mi minus your interference. Now I have a couple pictures of somebody on the top of stuff, and that's actually my son. He is um, a, a climber. He climbs mountains, and I would say he's reaching his his potential. And he overcomes. And I don't know where he gets his courage and his bravery. I promise you, it's not from me. But he he's reaching his potential. Your potential is there. And I want to think back. Think back when you were first thinking about real estate. Or think back when you first started hearing about the, the potential with EXP in real estate. There was something in you that said, I can do that. I can create that for my life. I can create that for my world. That, that's your potential. But there's some interference. And I want to draw you to this, this second, um, the right side, um, side of this slide. And of course, that's an iceberg. So the results are what is showing up above the water. That's what's showing up above the water. And you see this tremendous mass under the water. And so the results are above the water and that's what you and most people can see. But what's under the water is the interference. And this is why I love coaching because I wanna help others to see what is interfering with them. What's interfering? It could be limited beliefs. Yes, hello, my name, my, my name is Jackie and I have limited beliefs. It could be cracks in your belief. Did you lean into lead generation and face to setback? Did it present a crack in your belief? It might be that crack that's just expanding by reinforcing that belief that you can't do this. Maybe it's, it's just your fears. Maybe it's just your common fears, the fears that are holding you back. So if you don't like the results that you're seeing, could there be some interference? And I have a question for you. Do you think the interference is mostly internal or external? Interesting question. Who 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 wants to wager a guess in here? Who wants to unmute internal? And tell me? I'm I'm guess. I'm going with internal. You're going with internal. <laughs> Good guess. Ding 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 ding. You won. You won. And, you know, if, if your first thought was external, I wonder what kind of blame and um, um, victimhood you're in at that point. So there could be some external interference, but really most of the interference on how we respond even to the externals is right in here and right up here. This is what makes the difference in, in you achieving is you've got to find what is the, what's interfering with you. What's, what's stopping you because you see that potential, you know, it's there and I know it's there and, and I'm here to take a stand honestly for your potential because you're probably taking more of a stand for your limitations. about that for a minute. I'm taking a stand for your potential. You're more than likely taking a stand for your limitations. Think on that for a minute. So um, another, uh, before I, I'd love to hear if anybody has any, any aha so far. Anybody have any thought? Well, what do you like? Yeah. Hey, I know there might be interference because there's both of what us do you in like? the room. But one of my uh, favorites, which you just brought home again, is <laughs> which fear is bigger, right? The fear of failure or the fear of not providing what you need to provide for your family. And I think about that all the time before I do my lead generation because it's, you know, it's it's not, it, there's always a fear factor involved, uh, you know, and there's, there's that interference. But what is more important to you? Like allowing that fear to take over you or allowing your family not to have what they need because you didn't do it. Uh, so that, that just mm -hmm. hit home for me. 
I love that. And that is an incredible, and we didn't even plan this for us, but that's an incredible segue into what I want to share next. Um, and so maybe we'll have some time for some questions here in a minute. Whoops, where's my slide? Uh, anyway, I'll, I'll share it anyway. Um, I want you to, to think about three action steps that you can take right here, right now today, because I want to make a difference in your business. So first of all, I want you to write down, commit to your vision. Commit to your vision. And so just that, that moment, you know, when you said, ah, yes to real estate, I think I can do this. I think I can make a difference. I think this would be better for my life, my family, right? That seed of, of belief of potential that you had at that moment, that's there. And so you got to, you got to commit to your vision. Um, the, the reason you said yes was that you know you can do and you got to get crystal clear on it because that vision, just like Russ was saying, needs to be so much stronger than your fears. It has to be so much stronger than the pull of your fears. So I want to, if I was to standing in front of you uh, on my right here, maybe this is my vision for my life. And on my left, this is my fears or my limited beliefs. So in the time of lead generation, right? Which pull is stronger? When, when I face a setback, which one is stronger? Your, your, the, the strength of your vision needs to be so much stronger than the strength of your fears. The strength of your vision has to be stronger than the strength of your fears because one of those will win out, especially when it gets tough especially. And when I got into this business, I, my, my vision was pretty strong. Uh, my hubby and I had worked for 30 years and <laughs> we're in no way, shape or form, um, you know, getting to our goals. And I, I thought of real estate and, and I knew we had to do something different. And, and so I, I didn't care. I didn't care what people were going to say to me. I didn't care um, what hurdles I need to overcome. I didn't care how many, you know, rocks I need to dig under to find a client, <laughs> how many doors got slammed in my face or how many no's. I, I, Cause you know why? My vision was stronger than my fears. And I had fears just like everyone else, but my vision was stronger than my fears. So you need to you need to get crystal clear on your vision. You got to make that powerful for you, and it's it's your vision. I'd love to help you out with with that as well. Number two, you need to commit to your numbers. What are your numbers? The numbers of contacts a day that you commit to. I have that written on my board in my new office. <laughs> I have it written there. That that's what I'm committing to. Yesterday I made. Dawn, I made 21, uh, 21 calls to Icon Agents. That's one of my commitments is, is uh, awesome. revenue share. You, you are and, such an amazing example. <clears throat> and you're, you are getting me fired up today, Jackie. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta commit to your numbers and, 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 and attach that to your vision. You know, why is that important to me? Are you kidding me? I promise you guys, again, I'm in the shadows with you. If, if I'm lead generating too, I'm lead generating for some business and I'm lead generating for revenue share. And, and I'm in the shadows with you. And I, I don't know where that's going to bring me, but I can, I can control that. And so commit to your numbers, how many, you know, your activity, that's what you can control. And I remember I was door knocking and this is some time ago. And committed to that lead generating um, activity. Loved it. I actually, I loved it. And I, I remember walking up to some guy's door and I had my little script and, you know, I, I knock on the door, step back, you know, like kind of trained to do, step back. This guy, pleasant, pleasant face, you know, he came happy to the door. And as soon as I started that script, it was a summer day and he, he got this awful look on his face like he was going to lose it and he screams at me what are you doing I hate people like you and slam that door 
right on my face. And like, it was interesting because there are people in other yards like, oh my word, what did she, what's she going to do now? You know what I did? I got back on the horse and I went to the next house and I door knocked. It doesn't matter. That's okay. That's just another dent. That's okay. I can control my, my actions. So control your activity. You And also elevate that a little bit and, and commit to a goal of setting a certain number of listing appointments or buyer's appointments, whatever is your lane every single week. What's your goal there? And commit to those numbers. And just remember, it's time on task over time. It's in the shadows. And you go get some dents with me. That's okay. The third thing is commit to accountability. So who's holding you accountable? Because left to your own devices, you're probably going to go backwards. And me too. Who's holding you accountable? Who, who's, who's invested in you to make sure that you grow your business and do the things in the shadows that's going to make a difference for you? Because you need someone to hold you accountable on a very consistent basis without fail. And, you know, who, who are you reporting your numbers to? Who, who's helping you to make sure that you get to the next level? And it, it's in the lead generation. Who, who's applauding you? When, when you learn something, when, when you probably get a setback. I remember one time I, I had my biggest setback in real estate. I had four deals in a row all together. And it was going to net me about 75,000 in, in um, commission. And that deal fell apart over a $2,250 um, thing, which I would have gladly paid, by the way, uh, an inspection issue. And they all fell. It just tumbled in front of me, you know, a really bad day. Who's going to hold you up in those times? We need to be accountable people and invite the accountability because it's only going to make us better. And so that's what I have for you today. I, um, I just invite you just join the shadows with me because I'm right there with you, my friend. And um, I, I'm so excited. I, I did um, just become a success coach and uh, coaching has been part of my lane for a long time because I, I love people. I love to invest in them and I love to dive into the, the interference. By the way, your interference and my interference is usually blind spots to us. It's usually blind spots. That's why we need someone else to help ask the right questions. And um, so my my um, here's my information. I do have some spots available in coaching. And um, if you'd like to, you can reach out to me and we can just have a conversation. Um, and yet, I just want you to know I'm here with you six days in this company. And I've got a dance in my stuff that I haven't had a long time. So I'm so excited. Questions, <clears throat> thoughts? Do we have time for that? Well, Russell, I know you want to wrap it up, but I, I just got to say, Jackie, you know, there's something about you. You know that phrase of, um, I don't care what you know until that I know that you care. That is certainly one of your superpowers that I get from you, even from the first day that we met. You know, uh, you you just deeply care. And I think when when somebody believes in you, it, it gives you a superpower. And, I, and I'm certain that that is one of the things that your agents have so valued in you is just your belief in them. It's powerful, huh? Yeah, I mean, that, that's, that's very real. I, I, I truly do care. Everyone on this call, I see your potential. I know it's there. And I, I just... I, I don't know. Sometimes I might care too much. I don't know if that's possible, but I, I really, really do care. So, you know, nice. it's just so wonderful to be around, sur be surrounded by such giants, even on this call. Russell, why don't you take it away there, buddy? Fantastic. And again, sorry if you guys get feedback that Jackie and I are here in the same room. I <laughs> uh, hope you thought that was a treat. I think Jackie's a treat every time I spend time with her. She's absolutely amazing and it's funny we were doing a recruiting call together 
And um, she was telling the person, I cannot wait to support you at a different level. And like it blew me away because she was so honest and, and direct and uh, you knew what was going to happen once she came over and that girl was just going to explode in her production and, and her life was going to change. And I felt it with every sense of my being with Jackie. So super fun. Uh, and the other thing that I took away was it is what you do in the shadows, right? It's, it's funny, just about 10 months ago, I shifted my business where I uh, systematically did less uh, calls on lead generation for buying and selling houses. And I switched to doing more lead generation calls on people coming to EXP, right? And what you saw is, you know, the result, my production has gone down a bit and my recruiting has gone through the roof. So those things, those decisions that you make and those calls that you make, they work. Uh, if you do, you know, if your job is or your goal is to, to explode your production, uh, get with Jackie or another success coach and, and get there, right? Put the plan together, make the calls in the shadows and get it done. If you want to grow a huge organization, you can do the same thing. The results will follow the work that you put in. So Jackie, thank you so much. We're super excited to have you. Uh, and uh, as Tom always says, uh, now you have the inspiration. Uh, it's time to put in the perspiration and make it happen. So thank you guys so much. Have a great uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, the rest of your week. Thank you, Jackie. That was awesome.